Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Sweet Seller Sketches, and this week, and this day, and today, <laughs> oh, whoa, <laughs> I am going to be redrawing what is, in your words, your worst drawings. I actually kind of started this thing a while ago, I don't know if I only did one video on it, I think, where I asked you guys to send me what you think is your worst drawing, send it to this email if you want to send your worst drawings, by the way, and I will redraw them for fun. If I feel like it, maybe I'll give you some critiques coming from someone who is not an expert but knows a little bit. I've been doing this for three years and a half. Three half and years. <laughs> Let's get right on with the video. The first drawing that I am going to be redrawing today is from Oatmeal Puffs 69. They sent this one. I'm going to be redrawing this one, by the way. I think. Unless I decide I want to do this one. We will see. This is the second one that they sent me. It's very cute. I have noticed that you did put the hands backwards in both drawings, so that might be something you want to keep in mind when you are doing hands and I got a blister and it hurts. And this is the first one that they sent me. Like I said, the hand is backwards in this one. Overall, I don't really think there's that much like wrong wrong with this besides the head being too big and the hand being backwards. And this is from Nesoka or N N Nesoka. I'm so sorry. They said that this one was of a Minecraft YouTuber, Tubbo, which slay. And they also sent me a picture, a drawing that they had done of a character from Genshin Impact. I don't play Genshin Impact. I, If I start playing it, it's going to take up so much more time than everything else has in my life. And I know that the characters are really pretty and that everything's really cool, but like, I don't got time. And plus, I kind of suck at video games. So you know what? slay. Um, I'm very excited to draw this one because I really want to draw overalls and I'm really excited because he has like a little headband. Isn't that just cute? And I don't really think that this one is that bad at all. I mean, the only thing that's a little bit off about it is the hand and I like the way that you use the highlighter. I think it's very cool. And look at that bee. Look at it. Look at it. Look at, look at it. It's gorgeous. And if you want to send your worst drawings in, you can send them to this email. And you can also send OCs to that email, commission requests, etc. I'm so excited to get in with these drawings. They aren't that bad. Don't feel too bad about yourselves. And you know what? Let's go. And this is the sketching process from the one that was sent from Oatmeal Puffs. I had such a fun time with this one, but the beginning of it was a little bit hard. You know, trying to do the sketches and trying to get the pose fluent while keeping it in the center of the page. Well, let's just say I didn't really keep it in the center of the page. I looked up a reference on Pinterest and got to work because I just wanted to do a little bit more of a fluent pose. Even though the rest of the body wasn't showing in this, I just wanted to be extra because, you know, why not? I ended up changing a few things that were in the design and I really like the way that I did the lower half of the body. I tried not to change too much that was on top because, you know, that was the only part that was actually, you know, showed to me. So I wanted to try and do everything I could to make the bottom as swag as possible. And let's move on to Nesoka's little tubbo dude. The funny thing is, I actually started sketching this one before I started sketching the one from Oatmeal Puff 69. I just, in the intro, I, I mentioned Oatmeal Puffs first, so I just thought I would show theirs drawn first, but even though I drew this one first. Line art! Yay! I love line art, but it was a pain in the booty because I kind of had a hard time with the wings on this little dude. I really didn't know what color I was supposed to use. I have like three different blue liners, and I ended up going with the lightest one, which I think is the best choice in the end. You have no idea how long I sat there just trying to choose between the three of them. Like, I was like, why is this taking me so long? It's not that hard of a decision. But really, other than that, the line art went smoothly, no matter how much I am a little child about it. That would be underneath the hair. The hoodie would probably end up being somewhere around here. And if the ears are coming off of the hoodie, then they would be going back like this. But I don't see how there would be any room for them, seeing as to how the coat is Floating out that far. Let's try the bunny ears and then see if that works. And if it doesn't, then I'll just put the coat back. And there you have it, my brain at work. And my brain at work looks like me talking to myself. <laughs> but 
Anyways, the line art for this one, and I hate to just call it this one, so I'm just gonna call it the bunny ears one. The, the, the bunny, the bunny one. I genuinely love the line art for this one. It took me a long time. It really did because, you know, there's the whole body and I ended, ended up actually adding three bunnies as you can see. This purple liner decided to quit on me halfway and then I had to revive it and then it just a pain in the butt. I find it really funny that I literally only used pink and purple, well, and black, but you know, shut up. I only used pink and purple for their outfit. I could have had like je jean color, but no, I went with pink jeans. I pink jeans. And I actually had the idea to go with pink jeans because I went thrift shopping the other week, day, no one knows, time is irrelevant, but I was at a Goodwill in some distant town. Why were we so far away? I don't even remember. And like, it was this really rinkety dinkety looking Goodwill, kind of sketchy kind of thing, but they had those little like side carts of clothes that were put back from like people returning them and stuff. And there was like this pair of pink jeans and they're wide-legged and I love wide-legged things because I hate skinny jeans because no. Not my thing. If you wanna do skinny jeans, have fun. Have fun, but don't force me to wear them, thank you. But they are wide-legged, they're pink, they have a few holes in them. They're not the same as the holes that I put in this drawing, but you know, it was really just more inspired by the jeans, not really that it's like the jeans. I do have to take in the waist a little, either that or I'll just wear them low-waisted. Either way works, but I really do enjoy them except for the fact that they're pink. So the other day I got these black erasers because I remember watching a video about them maybe like two years ago. I wanted to see if they are slay with erasing line art if I could ever open it. Look how tiny it is. It's like almost the size of my thumb. It's very cute. And my opinion on that eraser is that it works very well, like indescribably well, like kind of scarily well. Because like the white high polymer erasers that I've used in the past, in the past, in the past, in the past, wow, in the past, have smeared gel pens that have been dry for literally like hours. And it's just like, how in, how did you even do that? How? I want to know how. And also my liners that aren't gel pens, like my Fudenosuke one, that, that brush tip liner, tends to lift a lot more with the white erasers. And it didn't as much with this one. It still did lift a little bit, not going to lie. It wasn't like the most perfect eraser in the world with no faults and blah, blah, blah. It faded a lot less, if that makes sense. And I had a really, really, really fun time coloring this and I'm not even like, okay, I'm gonna swear, but I'll bleep it. I'm not even even you like oh my goodness i was using my favorite purple to color the hair in the ohuhu set i have probably like three markers that like when i look at them i could look at them for hours it's g9 and then in the pastel set it is the v230 and like I, I i can't really see my case from here but there's another one and it just they just make me so happy and i got to use that color today and you know what i feel like i did the hair very well i haven't really been doing hair all that often so it's a little bit hard for me to do hair recently even though it's like one of the things that I have been like quote unquote praised for for a long time like oh my god your hair's so cool can we get a hair tutorial and I'm just like been putting it off because I've been slowly forgetting how to do hair on my own but after doing these two pieces I feel like I am getting an understanding of how I used to do hair and getting a little better at it like taking what I the knowledge that I used to have like probably like seven months ago and then combinationing it <laughs> with what I have gathered over the past few months of solitude. And I have recently just been feeling a lot more confident in my daily art skills. So I am very, very proud of this piece. And I might be like, yeah, it's okay, but I am so proud of this. One of the things that I am very proud of of this piece is that her platforms, I cut out the shape of like a bunny head on the side. If if you can tell it's like you know the bunny ears and then the, the little head i cut it out of the bottom of her platform to to, to to emphasize that this is a piece of bunnies if you couldn't tell by the three bunnies in the background <laughs> or you know the the bunny hoodie i just wanted to include more bunny things okay okay i am not bunnies are not my favorite animal and they're adorable and i don't hate them 
I hate birds. I- I really hate birds. Bunnies are just little cuties and they're adorable and I think that they deserve more attention, especially since they are so fluffy and I decided to make them magical bunnies which makes them even better because they can fly. But enough of that, now we're moving on to Tubbo. I completely zoned out like the entire time that I was drawing this and the funniest part is is that I kind of had a little like <laughs> mini panic attack <laughs> because my brother had friends over and I had not put makeup on that day and I was just hiding in my room just begging for them not to come in my room. <laughs> I just I have issues but like I don't care. Stay away. I just was like you know what I'm not gonna continue drawing right now and I stopped at the overalls and then I just put makeup on and then we played with chalk on the front steps. And then it rained that night and got rid of it, which is just rude. Just being honest, like, wow, really? I Did we really need that? I had, just being honest, I had a little bit of trouble with coloring the brown. I distinctly remember this because I accidentally, and you'll see this in the bloopers, I accidentally grabbed the wrong color of brown to color the shoes. And I was just like, wow, how dumb can I be? Also stick around for the bloopers because you will see how dumb I can be. Promotional self-plug, yar. But on a more serious note, thank you so much to Omiopa69 and to Nasoka and everyone who has sent their worst drawings in. And if you want to, just reminding you to send them to my email, mangaartsmarch2020 at gmail.com. I feel- it, it feels so weird to still have that email because if you don't know, when probably like before I even hit like 100 subscribers. <laughs> also subscribe. <laughs> Before I hit 100, I had a different username. I wasn't always Sweet Sailor Sketches. I was Mongard Smarts at one point. Now that I have changed that, it's kind of weird to have that email, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep it. Whatever. I don't really care. Most likely, the next video that I'm going to be working on is a tutorial on side profiles because in my last video, I think, last, last video, it was a sketchbook tour. The one I'm talking about. The part two. Who is calling me? Hold on. Anyways, um, there was a spread in that sketchbook book that was literally basically all side profiles. Actually, no, it was all side profiles. And I was like, I know the secret now. I will teach you. And I have figured out the secret and I love drawing side, side profiles now. I, I've never thought I would ever hear me say that. Like, that's kind of like a scary thing to come out of my mouth because you have no idea how much I loathed them. Even like, probably like two months ago, I still hated them like so much. Now that I understand a little bit about how it works, I still have to do some skull studies. I do, in a general sense, understand in my style how to do thine side profile. So that's most likely what my next video is going to be. So just a heads up. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stick for the outro and the bloopers because, well, you'll get to see me acting like an idiot once again if this entire video wasn't enough for you. We've got some amplified idiocity in the end. I think it's like four minutes, so... Right. It's still hard for me to believe how terribly this fits in frame. This book is 10 inches, and I'm pretty sure that the amount that my camera can see, like, longness-wise, is 9 inches. So it's just like a half an inch cut off of my sketchbook every single time that it, 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 that it exists in one of my videos. This is how these ones turned out. I am super proud of these. I feel like I got possessed when I was coloring this one. Like, the coloring is so good. And I hate to do that. I hate to be like, oh my god, this is like so slay and like y'all can't deny it. I am so happy with this one. Thank you so much for sending in your worst drawing. I love them and I loved drawing them. So if you want to send in your worst drawings, you can send them to this email. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your notification bell to all so you'll be notified every single time I make a new art video. You know what? I'm getting a little bit more consistent, but it's still getting there. I'm really proud of this video. I'm really proud of this art, and I'm super excited to post it, so... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around for the bloopers. There's a lot of them, and I'm so sorry that there's so much of them. But I couldn't leave them out. I cut out so much stuff. Do, 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 do. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Shoosh. Oh, those are cute. Because I'm a monkey on the playground. Look at Hello. I have a freezy. The red ones are the best. You cannot change my mind. Stop me, stop me, stop. Ow. Okay. Okay, assuming that this is a dress, I'm not gonna assume that. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it into what I want to. Slay, slay what you wanna slay. It looks to be balls. I spent so long on these arms, I don't wanna cover them up. Um. Slay what you wanna slay. Little slay, slay. Garb. Now come back. Cause that's hair. Hey Potter, you can have one of my LaCroix. I like the lemon one. The lemon one is alright. Oh, um, right. got that scented candle taste. What? No, <laughs> like LaCroix tastes like candles. You taste like candles. Ugh. Cheers. Cheers. Why do you have ibuprofen sitting here? You're a drug dealer? Broski, I probably forgot to take them when I had a headache. Like broski, just take it out there, man. I'm a fool. You're a fool? I'm a fool. Shut up. Shut up. You are a I fool. Am. Slay what exactly. thou hast been played. Slay what, what you wanna slay. Yar. Slay what you wanna slay and let the slay slay you. Slay song sister. <laughs> But you're not letting me do that Cause tonight you're all drunk in my kitchen Girl in a female position to this and playing the victim When I say In my memory <laughs> Yoink Slay what you want to slip Oh this is ice Oh this is B12 where in the balls is B14? And why is there so many train? You know, it might be a great idea to put the that there. I father ball. Something just touched my forehead. It was my light. Okay. I am okay. The flowers haven't even wilted. It's crazy how just fast we you tilted. Shunting, shunting. Your apartment. Oh, that is the wrong color. <gasps> Great time to notice that. Wow, congratulations. You're stupid. I'm not gonna lie. It took me a while to come up with the idea for this, and I end up ended up f balls. All right, that's fun.